Hey everyone, Donna Lewis here, Breathe Life Ministries, and it's Transform Tuesday. So, uh, welcome to the live stream, and I do encourage you to participate when Transform Tuesday comes online, because your comments and your interaction uh, just breathes life into the experience. And you never know, something that you happen to comment uh, and respond to during this uh, live devotional is going to minister to someone uh, and is going to be treasured by someone. So please do interact. Please do leave your comments. Even if you're watching on the recast, please go ahead and respond. I also will look back and when I get these comments, I will respond to them as well. So thank you for participating. Thank you for being part of this. And let's just do a quick word of prayer and then we're going to dive in. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for placing destiny within our hearts and for planning destiny for our lives before the foundations of the world. We ask that you would be the leader and the guide of this Bible study and this uh, time in your word. In the name of Jesus, amen. So with that, let's go ahead and let me share the screen with you. And whoops, that's the wrong one. Here we go. There we go. Right on. So it's Transform Tuesday. And this is a piece of artwork that my husband did recently. It is called Transformed. And I just wanted to share it with you because I love it. I love the toads. I love the butterfly. It's awesome. And it just reminds us to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And that's what this whole Transformed series is about. Question of the day. What word from the past do you think needs to make a comeback? Let's see if any of y'all are commenting here. I'm going to bring up Facebook and see if you're with me here. So I see someone's here watching. Facebook. Let me, oop, let me mute Let's this. See if you're with me here. Yeah, let me see if I can mute this here. So I see someone's here watching. Facebook. Let me, oop, let me mute Let's this. See if you're with me here. Yeah, let me see if I can mute this here. So I see someone's oh. here watching. Uh, here we go, I know. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to be distracted. Had to figure out how to mute it. So if you're with me, Share with me the feedback here. Share with me your comments. What word needs to make a comeback? You know what came to my mind? Okay, I'm an 80s child. I was in high school from uh, 1981 to 1984, right? Um, well, the very beginning of 80 to 84, right? And um, rad. How many of you all used that? That was like the thing to say, it's rad. And you know, it's so descriptive and it's short. So when you see something that's like totally off the chain and you're, and you're excited about it, you'd say, that is so rad. And you know, it works. So I really think that rad needs to make a comeback. What do you guys think needs to make a comeback? Put that in the comments. That's going to be a fun one. I hope you guys share because uh, <laughs> I want to know. Okay, so the Transformed Journal. This is way cool. Uh, this is rad. Um, I love my journal. I absolutely love my journal from Cindy Green at the Journey Shop. Um, it's got places in here to put your prayer requests. I don't know if you guys can see that. Put your prayer requests. It's got, um, oh, gads, let me get this. Let me get this out so you guys can really see it. It's got this sweet little fairy on the front who's been transformed. 
So she's out of her cage and she's flying. She's been transformed. It's got this really cute little tassel with a little jewel on the back. And there's a little fairy right here. She's flying. And then on the inside, because my face is covering it, you can't see it, so I'm going to show it to you. See the little moon child there? She's swinging on a swing. And then, yeah, you've got places to journal your notes and your transformation journey. You have got... places to journal your prayers and then how God answered those prayers. You've got places to just show what happened during your day and what kind of changes and metamorphosis you went through during the day and things that you learned and experienced and how you grew. It is awesome. I love my journal. I love my journal. So if you want to get one of these, just, and it's also a way that you can support Breathe Life Ministries. And um, so two key things, it's going to benefit you and it is going to be something that you're going to treasure. And each one is going to be a little different, which I love. It's going to be personal to you. There won't be two journals alike. You'll, you'll get the cover. That'll always look the same. And you'll have the little fairy swinging on the swing. That will always be the same. And as far as like what's included, but the inside cover is going to always look different. And that will be personal to you. You can reach me, reach out to me at Facebook at Breathe Life Ministries, or you can go to my website and message me there, or you can email me, Breath Life Ministries Donna at Gmail. So just let me know. We'll get you all hooked up. And again, it is a great way you can support Breathe Life Ministries. So now let's let's dive in. Here is the scripture, Destiny Within You. It's from the Passion Translation. This is word number 71 out of the devotional. And we're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 26 through 28. Brothers and sisters, consider who you were when God called you to salvation. And forgive me, I just saw that typo, when God called you to salvation. Not many of you were wise, scholars by human standards, nor were many of you in position of power. Not many of you were considered the elite when you answered God's call. But God chose those whom the world considers foolish to shame those who think they are wise. And God chose the puny and powerless to shame the high and mighty. He chose the lowly, the laughable in the world's eyes, nobodies, so that he would shame the somebodies. For who he chose, what is regarded as insignificant, for he chose what is regarded as insignificant in order to supersede what is regarded as prominent. This is from the Passion Translation. I just feel like I want to read this to you from a different translation. And that would be Pink, barking at somebody. <laughs> so let me just uh, switch translations here real quick. While you enjoy the songs of my dog, Pink. Let's see here, let me get down here. I'm going to read from the New Living Translation right now. 
Remember, dear brothers and sisters, that few of you were wise in the world's eyes or powerful or wealthy when God called you. Instead, God chose things the world considers foolish in order to shame those who think they are wise. And he chose the things that are powerless to shame those who are powerful. I'm going to keep reading. God chose things despised by the world, things counted as nothing at all, and used them to bring to nothing what the world considers important. How many of you have ever gone through a time, or maybe you're in that time right now, where you feel very powerless and insignificant? God chose you before the foundations of the world. There is destiny within you. God's eyes rove the corners of the, the earth, looking for people the rest of the world overlooks. Joseph and David, King David, and the Prince of Egypt, Joseph, were bullied by their family members. Ruth, who was the great, great, etc. grandmother of Jesus. Ruth was a poor widow with no social status. Peter, James, and John, key members of the 12 disciples of Jesus, were simple fishermen with no credentials. Matthew, another of Jesus's hand-picked disciples, was a tax man, hated and despised in his day. Yet each one carried a powerful destiny. My friend, your credentials, whatever they may be, high or low, don't matter. What matters is your willingness to do whatever the Heavenly Father asks. When you give him that, he'll turn the world upside down. That's what he said about, that's what people said about the disciples. After they were filled with the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, a time that we're coming, we're fast approaching Pentecost. They, they spoke of these people this way. These are the people that turn the world upside down. Are you ready to be a world changer? So here's your journaling exercise. I want you, I'm going to ask you to spend time quiet somewhere where you won't be disturbed and ask the Holy Spirit, what was I created for? and write down everything the Holy Spirit brings to mind, remembering that his voice will always be a voice of kindness, hope, and empowerment. You are not going to hear the Holy Spirit say, nothing, absolutely nothing. You weren't created for anything. 
You're not going to hear him say that. No, he is going to bring real knowledge to you. Real destiny. Real purpose. And a lot of it is going to center around things you already know about yourself. What are you passionate about? What do you love doing? And if you're in a place right now where you've been in a real funk, a depression, you might have to think back to what you had been feeling passionate about. I know from personal experience with depression, it can sap you of any kind of delight. You know, what you once took delight in, you may not take delight in right now, but that this is a passing phase you're in. It's temporary. It's not going to last. So allow the Holy Spirit to call to mind those things that bring you a sense of passion. And forgive me, my, I should have put my dogs in their kennels. They obviously see something out there that they feel <laughs> they need to bark at. Um, so yes, what brings you passion? Is it photography? Is it artwork? Is it music? Is it dancing? Is it a, a type of business? Is it setting up businesses? Is it setting up nonprofits? God's going to bring these things to your mind and it's part of your destiny. So with that, I am going to go ahead and take a quick peek here and see if anybody's left any comments. So I'm going to stop our screen share here for a moment. If I can. Let's see here. There we go. And I'm going to just bounce in here and see if we've got any comments going. Okay. Let's see here. And let me mute that. All right. Well, I appreciate you all very much. Again, if you're watching this on the recast, please leave your comments. I will respond to them. And if you've got prayer requests, uh, you can message me. You can reach out to me by email. I encourage you to do that. God bless, and I, I will see you again tomorrow on our expert interview.